Our first speaker today is Hei Cho from the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation. Hey. Good afternoon. Um, thank you for inviting me to this workshop. I'm so excited to be here. My name is Hei Cho, and I work as a standards director at AMI, or AMI, or the long title is the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation. Um, AMI is a professional society, a not-for-profit not association, but we're at the core a standards developing organization, or an SDO, that's how you usually go by. Um, our members are primarily made up of medical device manufacturers and those in the HTM field. HTM stands for Healthcare Technology Management. Um, these encompass biomedical engineers, clinical engineers, and other professionals who work in the hospital and healthcare settings. Amy's mission is to provide leadership to support the healthcare community in the development, management, and use of safe and effective healthcare technology. Um, our standards program is ANSI accredited, and we administer international secretariats for various IEC and I ISO um, technical committees. IEC stands for International Electrotechnical Commission, and ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization. These two groups basically cover most of the standards that are developed internationally. We also administer the U.S. tags for many of these groups. Um, U.S. tags mean uh, it's technical advisory groups or U.S. mirror committees for international work. Um, AMI has over 130 um, national or domestic committees, and we cover most of the areas in the IEC and ISO groups dealing with healthcare. Um, AMI is recognized as the SDO for international and national medical device and process standards. So I wanted to show you some of the scopes in our program, standards program. Some of the newer areas are interoperability, software, uh, robots for surgery, home care environment, combination products, sustainability. Um, these are some of the new areas that we're, we're tackling for standardization. We strongly believe in the one product, one standard, one test worldwide. And that's why we work so strongly with ANSI, IEC, ISO, as well as other standards organizations. And two of the more popular standards products that we published are standards, which we develop a lot of these standards um, as US standards or American national standards, especially in the sterilization field. However, we adopt many of the international standards as well. Um, and so the US or the American national standards are the same as they are in the international arena under the IEC or ISO. Um, there are instances for deviations so I don't know if you guys are that familiar with different standards, but IEC 60601-1 is a very big standard that a lot of the medical manufacturers follow. Well, U.S. had to do its own deviations because of the national electrical codes involved. TIRs, or technical information reports, um, are developed to cover issues which are very current and or maybe narrower in scope. The intention usually is to publish the TIR first and then develop them into a standard at a later time. So here's a brief outline of our, how our standards process is developed. It goes from proposals to drafting to commenting, balloting, public review, uh, final re approval, and publication. So the main question is, who can get involved in standards work? You know, anyone with interest or expertise in the topic can. Um, so for example, in fact, for most of our domestic work, all of the meetings are open to the public. We invite anybody to join our committees. Um, for internationally, though, you do have to be nominated as a US expert. Um, in our field, we have medical device manufacturers, users, clinicians, nurses, HTM, regulatory or government representatives, usually from the FDA, uh, but you know, we welcome different perspectives, and, and the more the better. In fact, having participation from students and young professionals would lend a fresh perspective in, in developing the basic requirements for the medical devices. So we really would like 
for you to get involved. Um, AMI has a student membership. You don't have to be a member of AMI to join any of the um, standards committees, but we do have a student membership. Usually it's for things like um, attending uh, webinars, educational sessions, or getting any of the publications for a discounted rate. So if you have any questions or want to be involved, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.